This is the uh, charcoal pan, or the ash pan. I'll show you what these are in just a bit. These are homemade. This is the ash pan and the charcoal grate. Pretty neat little system. Uh, put it together really easily. The ash pan has these clips that will hook into the slots here. And depending on how high you want that ash pan will determine which way you orient this cooker or this uh, grill. If you do it this way, ash pan will be lower to the ground. Pretty nifty little set. Okay, I've got the water on. Pretty good little flame going there. Overall, I am very impressed with this stove. Uh, that's a lot of heat coming from it, obviously. I've got charcoal in here, uh, along with some uh, white oak that we've split up. And that is the beauty of this thing here. Being able to just take twigs, other pieces of wood, and uh, bust them up. Put them in there and feed that stove with and have you a nice little fire. That's uh, <laughs> really enjoying the warmth off of it. So water's getting ready to uh, come to a boil. I'm gonna make some coffee, put some hot dogs on. And again, we got a little present for uh, down there. Okay, folks, we're gonna mix up some blackberry cobbler and uh, attempt to bake this cobbler beneath the stove there. So with this mix, all you do is add uh, butter, sugar, salt, a little uh, baking powder, a few other ingredients. We'll have the uh, recipe in the description box below. But uh, I think this will turn out pretty neat. Good stuff. So as you guys can tell, we're out here in the yard today testing out new gear. And this is the best time to test it, right here at home. Want to get nice and slow? And if I can show you here, I'm going to try to at least. The way that the top cooking grill is made, if you don't... Uh, a lot of heat over here uh, but if you don't you can't put your food this way because everything will fall through so you have to cook this way and I dropped those uh, hot dogs in there a couple times already but overall I'm still impressed with this okay now it's time to reveal what these are for There's one for each side. If 
I have one for the back. I have to be careful because the stainless steel is hot. But it does cool down pretty quick. So basically what I've done is I've taken these little pieces of metal and I have closed off the uh, vent holes on the side here. So, when I put the coals back in here, I'll have a little mini oven here. There we go. <laughs> now this is experimental. <laughs> so and there's a lot of heat coming from in there. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, so now back that up just a hair. Okay. Gonna take our mix, put this in here. That will go in there like that. We'll close the door and hopefully have some blackberry cobbler. <laughs> Man, would you look at that. Mm. Blackberries are delicious. Mm. Now the mix. You dump that in right on top of the blackberries. And you do not mix or stir. And that sounds like we have ice coming down on these tarps. How about that? That is ice. Wonderful day out here. Now this is similar to how you did the peach cobbler. Very similar. Little homemade door. This is very thin uh, stainless steel. Or at least I think it's stainless steel, some type of steel. Picked up from the Dollar Tree for one dollar. <laughs> and now we just wait. We'll have some coffee. Enjoy this uh, little ice storm that we have coming over us. And, uh, yeah. So folks, we're actually starting to get some snow, if you see that. It's like a snow-rain mix, but snow nonetheless. <laughs> and the forecast said it was going to be sunny. <laughs> we put up uh, a Diamond Brand two-man combat tent, AquaQuest tarp, another AquaQuest tarp, and uh man i'm glad we did now look when i say that and I, we really are serious of course if they're you know they're saying that it's going to be dangerous flood conditions or hurricane force winds i mean you know of course use discretion but when they say that it's going to be snowy or it's going to be rainy i wouldn't put all your eggs in one basket i definitely wouldn't trust on the, whatever they say actually happening Snowing. Okay, folks, through the miracle of time, I think we're getting done here. I can smell that cobbler. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. uh, Job well man, done. Man, 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 man. All right, let me get my glove. Pick that up and look at it a little bit more. A little closer detail here. No, it's not charred. Uh, it's got a little char here, kind of like what we had with the uh, 
Oh yeah, that peach is, cobbler at the fire, but you know this is just that's just the nature. Of that's true. Cooking under that hot fire like that. Look at that thing. Oh man. <laughs> Done all the way through, you think? Oh yeah. That is beautiful. Look at that. Guys, this is what happens when you uh, <laughs> give the Roberts boys a little time with anything. Man, oh man. <laughs> I would try to eat it right now, but it's most oh, yeah, likely that's... like <laughs> molten lava. Molten lava. <laughs> so I'm going to put that back and just let it cool a little bit. You know what? I can't stand it. I'm going to have to try it. <laughs> Prepare to lose every single taste bud. <laughs> Hey, mercy on my soul. Now, when I was offered the opportunity to review this kit, I jumped right on it. Took a look at it. Uh, I had the oven capability in mind when I decided to try it. And with just a little bit of extra metal. Like I said, this is a cookie sheet that I purchased from the dollar store for $1.00. Cut it up, modified it to this, and uh, like I said, we're we're scavengers at heart. So we'll uh, we'll pick up grills off the side of the road just so we can cut the grates up and reuse them to what we want to use them for. So I'm a big fan of this kit. It's pretty sturdy. The only thing that I don't like is the grilling grate itself. Again, you can you just tend to drop food through here. That's a that's a pretty big gap right here. Hot dog will fall through here. I had you know two hot dogs, both of them fall through on each side here, and one fell through the center here. So if if this grate were more a traditional grate like this one, I think this would be an absolute winner. Which I still think this is a I'll give it four and a half out of five stars. This is a lot neater and more sturdier than what I thought it was going to be. You know, you get these things, they look flimsy, they look you know, like they're just going to fall apart. As you guys can see from the beginning, uh, just where I was tapping it around, it doesn't fall apart. That I really like. So if you happen to kick it or something hits it by accident, you might... You're not losing all your fire. You're not losing all your coals. They're not spilling all out all over you. You know, Dad and I, we were talking about this earlier. And really what we think that this really excels at, this is the framework for your fire. As he just mentioned, you know, you can knock this thing around and the fire's not going anywhere. It's protected on all sides. It's perfect. And it really just works out great. And again, you know, we were both looking at these for... Well, ever since we got into this, you know, we've seen people on YouTube using these type of stoves, and we've always just thought they were going to be flimsy, you know, either they cost too much, or we just didn't think that they'd work out good for us. Right, they weren't quite our style. You know, everything we do, we do over an open fire. And with a little imagination, a little patience, you can have a treat like this out in the wild. That's wild. Man, is this something. Goodness gracious. So for 18 bucks, uh, I, I certainly recommend it. Again, it's just, it's sturdy. It's, you know, it's convenient. And I think that's the main thing. It's easy to use, and it packs down in a, in a fairly small container. It's not heavy. And again, it just makes a perfect framework for those small fires that you want to do. Maybe using with the use of small twigs, small branches, where you maybe don't want to go out there and gather loads of firewood. Exactly, yep. I don't know that I would consider this an ultra-light camping stove. It's, um, 
I'll roll in a, a picture of how much this weighs. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head right this moment how much it weighs, but I think it's right about right about a pound, maybe a little over. But you know, you know us. You guys have seen us before. We're definitely not ultra light backpackers. Um, what we are is ultra comfort backpackers. <laughs> yes, ultra <laughs> comfort backpackers. So, okay, this is an Ozark Trail collapsible bowl plate type deal that we picked up from Walmart and um, a lot of times when we're out at the river or out on the farm or eating we're either eating off of a wooden disc or a paper plate so you know we want something a little bit more permanent or a little more uh, stable for us so we found these at Walmart and these are pretty neat little uh, pretty neat little plates they also turn into bowls see right there exactly how much that holds I'm not sure I'm sure it's on the uh, paperwork that we threw away because we are men and that's what we do we don't read anything we just rip in the stuff and get right in there so but oatmeal soup all kinds of stuff or collapse it down to a plate now the issue I was having or could see foresee coming now the issue that I could foresee with this is a soft silicone, so obviously you can't cut a steak in it. So we're going to take uh, some of that HDPE type cutting board that you see everywhere. You can get it at the dollar store, you can get it at Walmart. And I'm going to cut out a little piece of it so that it lines the bottom of this. So you know, we'll have uh, some, a harder surface, a cutting board to cut steak on, things like that. Or you can actually take it out put it on the ground and cut with. The easiest way that I've found to use this grill with a stove like that is to take this apart, turn this upside down so that the hooks are facing up, and put the sides of this stove, lock them in those hooks, and set this inside here like so then you can take the grill set that on top and have a nice level platform for larger pots like this one thing that has always bothered me about the smaller backpacking stoves like this is that when you put these Stanley pots, these larger pots, on there, make sure those are all out, it's just not a very stable platform. You see you have all kinds of uh, whatever liquid you have in here, all this weight and mass on top of that little stove which this is strong enough to hold it don't get me wrong but the tipping point turn will turn over easy so putting it back in here and then putting the grill or the grate back on top of that is a larger platform for that okay so propane stove number two this guy here now I purchased this one because it has a wider platform with larger pots to sit on more stability this goes in here as well and what I've decided to do with this is take the charcoal grate and use my stainless steel rods that we cut from the cooking grate put that in here just like so now this is just a I need to make these rods a little bit longer but as you can see I have a little platform here now to be able to put the 
pot on. Now what that does is it gives me a little bit of a windbreak. I'm gonna put these on. It only protects it from uh, three sides. But if you put this into the wind, the back into the wind, now I'm protected on three sides with these uh, little pieces that I added. So folks, we thank you for joining us today. Hopefully you, uh, maybe you've been inspired to go out there to think outside the, the box. Uh, you get it because it's a, uh, it's a little box stove right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> so hopefully you've been encouraged. Hopefully maybe it gives you the ability to take a different look on things. Again, Dad and I have been looking at one of these for a long time and we finally received one and we're extremely impressed with it and we really enjoy the ease of use it's just perfect so we thank you for joining us today hopefully you have a great day wherever you're at make sure to like comment and subscribe please share this video again have a great day and as always may the wings of liberty never lose a feather and god bless <laughs>